Hello everybody and welcome to this video lesson in which I want to show you the typical uh, customization of the SolidWorks user interface. Normally uh, I would prefer to uh, make the menu bar visible all time. So that's the first thing we do. Just uh, use the push pin to make the uh, menu bar uh, visible all time. Okay, the next thing, uh, you can use regular toolbars in addition to the command manager. One popular method is to use the sketch toolbar as a separate toolbar and remove it from the command manager. This is because the workflow typically goes a sketch feature, sketch feature. When you work like this, you wind up switching back and forth very frequently between the sketch and the feature tabs on the command manager. For this reason, it makes a lot of sense to have a separate sketch toolbar. So let's do that. Remove this sketch tab from the command manager just by right clicking on a tab and turning off the sketch tab. Then I'm going to turn on the sketch toolbar. To turn on the sketch toolbar, uh, there are uh, many uh, methods. Uh, for example, we can just right click on the blank area here on, on the command manager, and then we select the sketch from the list. So the sketch toolbar will be docked on the right hand side of the screen. If you want to replace uh, some icons, on the toolbar, you can do that. We just use uh, Tools, Customize, and the Commands tab. Let's say instead of uh, having uh, this uh, drop down uh, or fly out, I want to have the line uh, command and a separate center line command. So to do this, we can go to Customize, and then Commands tab, then first we need to delete this from the sketch toolbar, so we just drag it and then uh, throw it in the white area. And then from the sketch group, I'm going to drag and add the line command to the sketch toolbar, the uh, center line, and midpoint line, for example. So now, rather than to have a drop down or fly out, I have the three commands separate from each other, and so on. So you can you can add any command to the uh, com the sketch toolbar. For example, we may add uh, dynamic mirror entities because I can use this one frequently in my modeling. Then we click OK. The command manager can be undocked from its position at the top of the SOLIDWORKS window. So grab it from a tab and just drag it out. So press and hold on any tab, left mouse button, and then drag it. Now it can be uh, floated in a space or it can be uh, docked to the left side of the screen like this. And uh, when you place it uh, to the side and use the text buttons, uh, the arrangement is always with the icon to the left and the text to the right. Uh, you can also reattach it on the right hand side of the screen of uh, the SOLIDWORKS interface. But typically, uh, I prefer to have it on, on top, like this. Uh, one more thing, maybe uh, if we want to uh, save the user interface or the graphics area interface, maybe we can just hide the uh, text here. So we can right click and then uncheck use large buttons with, with text. So we have more space. Okay, 
The next thing that we can we can customize is the heads up view toolbar. So we can go to uh, customize. Uh, normally from standard views, I would prefer to have the uh, front view, uh, top view, uh, right side view, because normally we work with third angle projection. So these are the, th the standard three views. Also, sometimes I want to switch to the isometric view easily, so I can add this to the toolbar. And uh, normal to screen. Especially when we are in the sketching mode, and you know, sometimes accidentally, this, this, uh, the sketch is tilted. So in order to get it back normal to screen, you can just click on this uh, icon. Uh, I add uh, from tools group, uh, I prefer to add the uh, measuring tab and the uh, mass properties uh, tool. Measuring tab, you know, sometimes we need to check a distance between two features or between two entities. So I can, I can use it to uh, ensure that I have the uh, required distance. Uh, let us open the... Uh, impeller housing part which is uploaded to slate so that uh, for the sake of uh, discussion now i can easily get the isometric view front view top view right side view isometric and if i am say for example i am uh, in the sketching mode let's consider this sketch Normally, when we sketch, we want to be normal to screen. Okay, so this this uh, uh, this tool is very useful in the sketching mode. So, say for example, if you are uh, with any uh, orientation and then you want to be back to uh, normal to screen, you can just click on this uh, icon, and now you are normal to your sketching plane, and you can do uh, any. Uh, editing uh, uh, required. There is more customization available in the Customize dialog box. In this case, let's have a look at the Keyboard tab. The Keyboard tab allows you to create keyboard hotkeys or shortcuts to any command that you find in the list. You can have direct access to that command through a hotkey that is either one key and modifier such as Shift F or you could combine modifiers such as Control Shift F. Let's make a new hotkey. Let's say you wanted to write a hotkey for the Tools Options dialog. In this case, we will search for the word Options. So in the Search For field, I'm going to type Options. And we have insert options and tools options and simulation result options. Tools options what we are after. So I want to give this a shortcut of O. It says this is already assigned to the command help community forum. Do you want to change the assignment to tools options? In this case, yes. I'm going to use tools options more than I will use the community forum, especially from a hotkey. So I will just say yes. SolidWorks makes the substitution and we say OK. Back in the SolidWorks window, I press O on the keyboard. And here I have the tools options dialog. If you want to see the list of all of the existing default keyboard shortcuts, Go back to Tools Customize Keyboard. And in the Show box, select the drop down from Commands with Keyboard Shortcuts. This gives the entire list of existing shortcuts. You can copy the list to the clipboard and paste it into WordPad or Notepad and print it or save it. 
Another section of the interface that you may choose to customize is the mouse gestures. So we will go back again to Tools, Customize, Mouse Gestures. We can use four gestures or eight gestures. Remember that the mouse gestures interface is this ring that shows up when you drag the right mouse button. In this case, we have four commands set up. So if I just drag straight down, I get bottom of you. And drag straight up, I get top of you. Right mouse button drag to the left, I get the left of you, and so on. If you switch this to eight gestures, you've got to be a little bit more careful about your movements, because now you have eight divisions in here. The interface is different depending on if you are just editing a part or if you are editing a sketch. So if we switch to the sketch mode, then the interface will look different and you will see that the commands are different. You will get different set of commands as well for assemblies and for drawings. So if I open assembly file and then I drag the right mouse button, as you can see, we have different set of commands that is suitable for assembly application. If we switch to a drawing file and then drag the right mouse button, then you will see we have different set of commands. And these are all customizable through Tools Customize Mouse Gestures. If you want to see just the existing commands, click the Show Only Commands with Mouse Gestures assigned, and you can print this out for your reference. That completes this video. Thanks for watching and I will be talking to you soon. Bye for now.